Determine whether the following curve uses arc length as its parameter. If not, find a description that does. And here we are given the vector valued function parameterizing our curve defined as vector r of t with components t plus 1, 2t minus 3, 6t, where t is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 10. So the first thing that we need to determine is whether the curve is using the arc length as its parameter. So to check this, we need to see, does the magnitude of the tangent vector with respect to t equal 1? If it does, then t is the arc length parameter. We can say that t is equal to s. So let's go ahead and check this. So using that vector valued function, we differentiate to find the tangent vector. So our tangent vector here, differentiating, we're left with 1, 2, 6, and there's no scalar multiples, so we can go right ahead and find the length of our tangent vector using the distance formula. So you have the square root of 1 squared, which is 1, plus 2 squared, which is 4, plus 6 squared, which gives us 36, and this leaves us with the square root of 41, which certainly does not equal 1. Rats! So therefore, t is not the arc length parameter. So the curve is not using the arc length as its parameter. But that's okay. We can use the arc length function to find a description that does use the arc length as its parameter. So we're ready to find a description of our curve that uses the arc length s as its parameter. So in order to do this, we want to keep that arc length function in mind. So let's recall, we know the arc length function is defined as s is equal to the definite integral from a to t of the magnitude or the length of your tangent vector with respect to u du. So we already know our length of the tangent vector. And since our bounds here, we have t is greater than or equal to 0, a is going to be 0 in this case. So we are ready to go. So we can say that our arc length s is equal to the definite integral from 0 to t of the magnitude of our tangent vector, which is the square root of 41, du, and integrating this leaves us with the square root of 41 multiplied by u, evaluated from 0 to t. So we have the square root of 41 multiplied by t minus 0, which leaves us with a relationship between the arc length parameter and the arbitrary parameter t. So this is telling us that the arc length parameter s is equal to the square root of 41 multiplied by the arbitrary parameter t. And now since we're looking for a description of our curve that uses the arc length, we're going to use this equivalence relationship to solve for t. So this is equivalent to saying that the arbitrary parameter t is equal to the arc length parameter divided by the square root of 41. And so this is what we're going to use to reparameterize the curve. So again, let's keep in mind what was the original parametric description we were given. Well, we're st we started off with the vector valued function r of t, which is defined as t plus 1. We had 2t minus 3, 6t. And this was such that t is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 10. So looking at this original parametric description, everywhere you see a t within this parametric description, we want to replace that now with s divided by the square root of 41. So giving ourselves plenty of room, we're ready to reparametrize our curve. So we can say that a parametric description of this curve in terms of the arc length is defined by the vector 
s divided by the square root of 41 plus 1. The second component is going to be 2 multiplied by s divided by the square root of 41 minus 3. And last but not least, we have 6 multiplied by s divided by the square root of 41. So there is the vector valued function in terms of the arc length. And this, of course, is going to be 4, the bounds where we have s divided by the square root of 41 is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 10. But we don't want to leave our inequality like this. We need to solve for the arc length parameter s. So in order to do that, we need to multiply each part of this inequality by the square root of 41 to isolate the arc length. So we can see the square root of 41 cancels within the intermediate portion of our inequality, leaving us with the bounds. We have the arc length s is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 10 times the square root of 41. So it looks good thus far. This looks like a parametric description of the curve in terms of the arc length parameter. But we shouldn't just assume that this is correct. We should check. And how are we going to check to make sure that this is, in fact, a parametric description that uses the arc length parameter? Well, we need to make sure that the magnitude of the tangent vector of this parametric description is equal to 1. So let's go ahead and find out. So using this new parametric description, we need the tangent vector. So the derivative of the vector valued function with respect to our arc length leaves us with the vector 1 by the square root of 41, 2 by the square root of 41, and 6 by the square root of 41. And notice that each component has a greatest common factor of 1 by the square root of 41. So we pull that scalar multiple out in front. So we have 1 by the square root of 41 multiplied by the vector 1, 2, 6. And now we're ready to go ahead and find the length of this. So we have the magnitude of the tangent vector. The length of our tangent vector is 1 by the square root of 41 multiplied by the distance formula. So again, we have the square root of 1 squared is 1, plus 2 squared is 4, plus 6 squared is 36. So we have 1 by the square root of 41 multiplied by the square root of 41. So those 41s cancel each other out, and we're left with 1. Woohoo! So this lets us know that, yes, this is in fact a description of our curve, a parametric description of our curve that uses the arc length as the parameter. So this is our beautiful final answer.